Sanctuary of a James Island church destroyed in a devastating fire will finally reopen this weekend. Two and a half years after it was first struck by lightning going up in flames. Our Katie Kamen explains the rebuilding process and how churchgoers are feeling now that the congregation can once again walk through the front doors to gather in the sanctuary. Two and a half years and $5.4 million later, and Fort Johnson Baptist Church will finally be returning to its sanctuary this Sunday. The lightning strike hit the steeple in September of 2021, which smoldered until massive flames engulfed the sanctuary. Marty Middleton, the pastor of the church on Camp Road, says what survived the fire was then destroyed by smoke and water from the fire hoses. Middleton says they were able to keep the cinder block walls of the original sanctuary, but the rest of the building has been totally rebuilt. The space is now complete with upgraded instruments, chairs, lighting, carpet, a sound system. Everything is bright and brand new. Middleton says they never missed a Sunday service, even immediately after the fire. They've been operating out of another building. But Middleton tells me he and the congregation are overjoyed to return to the sanctuary in just a few days. It brings a sense of excitement and anticipation uh, for seeing what God has done in, over the past two years to only continue that exponentially better, I think. Middleton says while insurance covered part of the rebuild, donations from the community played a major part in funding the new sanctuary. Sunday service in the brand new sanctuary will begin at 10.30 a.m. For Live 5 News, I'm Katie Kamen.